Oh gosh, I can't wait to show you guys this. So, we're going to be looking at a video from Wrestling Utaku. In case you guys didn't know who he is, I actually made a video on this guy previously on him crying and getting up his feelings about a pay per view that had a week of a build and then, a, you know, fake stomping and his phone ring, the one to answer, he was crying and everything. But, you know, this time, guys, we're going to be taking a look at in his newest video. That a video got him flagged. Yeah, that's right. He got fl apparently he got flagged to a point where he had to make a video calling everyone soft, but proceeded to be soft back and then. You know, this guy all he talks about is wrestling and football, but you know he trashes other people for being negative. Which yes, those people have been negative, but him, oh my gosh, he's probably like the worst out of all of them. But you know what? Let's take a look. All right. Alright, what's going on everyone? Wrestling Otaku back here. So, had to make this video because I had to respond to this shit. It's like, really, honestly, some of you people on here, you're something with your shit. I mean, you're really, you're something with your BS. I mean, my God, man. Are these people, honestly, YouTube today is so soft they're getting so soft they're getting so pg they're getting so corporate wanting to censor people and all that i can honestly see why some people are leaving the site and it's like honestly they're getting pussified now the only thing i agree with is that yes everyone's getting soft on freaking youtube because you know they're making everything so like kid like which i am not a big fan of and yeah like it's like the one thing i do agree with them i think this is like the only thing I, i'll ever agree with this guy is like YouTube is soft, and everything that we've seen on the website just proves it. And I don't even know if I can say that in a video, or because they, they might take this down. They might try to censor me. And then the same thing applies with you fucking ass clowns in the YWC and the wrestling community right now. In the I in the in the IWC YWC, you guys are fucking soft, dude. Every time somebody likes something that you don't like. Or if they criticize something that you do like, you have to get the fucking torture pitch folks. Oh, this person is bad. Oh, this person is evil. We have to get rid of them. Oh, they have a different opinion than us. Oh, we have to get rid of them. Same shit. Bro, isn't that what you do on Twitter and YouTube? Because that's, that's kind of the majority of fails I've seen you do. I mean, look at that top 10 women video that you uploaded. That's got a bunch of dislikes. Oh, wait, we can't see the dislikes, but, you know, the comments tell us something. Same shit. Then you want to criticize me, right? Get out of here. So let me tell you what happened. So you remember that Jim Cornette video I did about two or so weeks ago, two and a half, three weeks ago? No. You know the one where I called him a stupid old bastard, criticized him for his blatant hate, uh, blatant hatred of AEW, which is validated. Look you see what I mean, guys? You guys see what I'm talking about? Like, in case you guys didn't see the the original fail I've made on this guy, like, I call him an AEW fanboy, because, you know, most of his videos, so, like, he'll wear an AEW shirt. And, like, a anything that has something to do with AEW, it's okay, but if it's a, if it's the other way around it, like, a different company, oh, not, not okay, not okay, that's definitely not okay. But, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this guy is a freaking fanboy, and this guy is the definition of a fanboy. Like, this is what I'm talking about, like... Watch, he's going to start defending the company, and then he's going to cry about this old man criticizing the company. But yeah, I don't like the guy either, but it's whatever. Just look at the things he says in regards to AEW. Every time he talks about it, he does nothing but shit on the promotion. Like I said before, if it was WWE, you'd be doing the same exact same thing. That's all he does. There's no, 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 no cr uh, constructive, criticism, um, constructive criticism whatsoever. He just bashes it for the sake of bashing it. Bro, do not watch your own videos. All you do is bash one company. All because they do is one little thing, and then you're up your feelings because apparently it was the worst pay per view in the world, despite fanfare. So I went after him for that, right? Well, some fucking loser, no life, virgin, no pussy getting fucking jackhole decided to flag that video down. Bro, this guy sounds like he's trying to say, well, this guy has no girlfriend. Well, guess what, dude? I mean, we're looking at a guy who has no freaking girlfriend. Wanna why? Because he makes a video on women. Because, you know, apparently he's being sexist on the internet. But, you know, he made a response video on that video. Because, you know, this guy can't even handle criticism from everyone that I've seen. Or maybe a group of you did. I don't even fucking know at this point. It might be one person. At this point, it could have been one person. could have been a group of you. I don't freaking know. It doesn't really matter. So some jackass decided to flag that video down, and YouTube ends up taking it down for, for, for harassment and bullying. 
See, now, when it comes to false flagging, I would have said, hey, I, I, you know, I agree with what you say, but in this case, I don't agree with what you say because you bully women on the freaking internet, and, you know, you make another fail on them, you say you are so done with them, and then proceed to have a girlfriend only to, you know, make more women fails about them. I'm like, what the fuck? Harassment and bullying? Who did I, who did I bully? Woman. In that video. Who am I harassing? Did I say in that video that I was going to kick the shit out of Jim Cornette if I ever saw him? Did I harass him? Am I going to his, am I stalking his page? Am I leaving a bunch of responses on his page or his YouTube videos? Am I, did I say anything like that? Did I say if I ever saw Jim Cornette, I would knock the shit out of him or something like that? Did I ever say that? Did I ever threaten him in that manner? Did I say I was going to stalk him? I was going to go to his home to where he lives and do something to him and his family? Did I ever say that? No. So how the hell is that video considered harassment and bullying? Like, what the hell? What the hell, YouTube? Jesus Christ, man. And then, so I appeal the strike, or I appeal the decision, right? I appeal the, uh, I appeal the flag. I appeal, I appeal the takedown. And of course, YouTube upholds the decision. YouTube denies my appeal. They basically send me this, uh, they send me this email saying, oh, we reviewed your, we reviewed the video and we have confirmed that it goes against our policy on harassment and bullying. It's like, it's like, oh my fucking God, dude. Like, are you fucking serious? Yo, I was just scrolling around and then all of a sudden I see this video and it sounds like I'm getting some entertaining uh, content, you know? But for you, your content's not so entertaining, but you know what? I gotta turn it up a notch to make it more entertaining. With this shit. So now my video goes down, and now I get, well, I don't get a strike, I got like a warning, you know how there's a warning, well, basically I get like something, you know, a warning or whatever. In case you guys weren't caught off, YouTube no longer gives you like three little strike thingies, but they give you like a little warning, as a sort of thing, because I will say this, like, I'll give them props, at least it is something right for once, because you know, a bunch of YouTubers nowadays are getting solved with the whole, we're gonna give you this copyright strike garbage, because you know, but no, this, this isn't even like a, a copyright strike. This is more of a community guideline strike. But you know, this guy's gonna call it copyright. If someone flags your video, that's a community strike, not a copyright. But you know, like I said before, false flagging has become a trend these days and it's become garbage because it just proves that people these days are soft. Like anything you say about criticism or anything like that towards them, like give them, give them criticism and give them some correctness. They will flag your video no matter what. When the argument, they'll flag down your video. Why? Because they can't handle the truth. You know, for um, community guidelines, I basically get a warning. It's not an actual strike. If it was an actual strike, I wouldn't have been able to upload videos for a week. So it doesn't affect the channel. It doesn't affect my content. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect monetization either. But still, like, are you fucking serious with this shit, YouTube? Are you freaking serious? Oh my fucking god, dude, man, this uh, this site, honestly, is getting so soft nowadays. I know the website's getting all soft in that, but oh my gosh, the irony. Harassment and bullying, that's bullshit. I know it sounds like I'm gonna repeat myself, guys, but oh my gosh, this video that I'm talking about from earlier has like 12k views. Like, why do you think that people bashed at you because you went after women? Like, dude. Look yourself in the mirror the next time you speak. Like, there, there was no bullying in that video. There was no harassment. My God, dude. That's fuck, That's freaking ridiculous, man. You know, I'm not going to get too hot over that. I'm not going to get too ticked over that. I was at first because it's like, what the hell? Like, there, there was no, no, no instance of harassment or bullying in that video. So let me get this straight. So you say you don't, you're not gonna get mad over this, but you make an entire six-minute video getting mad over it. Like this is what I'm talking about. It's just me calling out some old, old clown talking shit about AEW. That's all it was. I don't understand. I don't understand the rationale of that. So it's like whatever, dude. It's like whatever. Okay, that video gets taken down. Whatever. And to the ass clowns who decide to flag it down, or the ass clown or ass clowns, because I'm sure there was more than one person who flagged that video. I'm sure there was more than one. So to you ass clowns out there, there you go. There, There's your reward. There's your payoff. My payoff would be going outside in the middle of a snowstorm, talking about the situation, only get mad and mad and mad.
because you know uh, I'm wrestling otaku and I get mad over little things that happen in the world because you know I'm I'm wrestling otaku but you know I make dumb videos talking about women but you know that's exactly what he's gonna be and this is exactly what I'm laughing about because this guy had it coming and no I am not taking I am not taking part of this false flag and garbage but you know again this guy I was honestly deserve what he gotten because let's just say he is sexist. One video of mine gets taken down. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Wrestling Otaku, you played yourself. You have succeeded in proving that you are pussified version losers with no life. Y'all, this guy complains about the bullying cavalry or, you know, community guideline strike thing he gotten. Yeah, well, what's he doing right now? He's name calling people. I mean, this is exactly why he's getting striked. Well, he got warm, but you know, maybe sooner or later he might get a strike because he's name calling people. And what gets me, and the most ironic goddamn thing about this, is that these people, the ones who flagged this video down, or the one who flagged it down, these are probably the same people who come to my comment section and say stuff like, Oh, well, you can't handle uh, opposing opinion. You can't handle somebody else's opinion. You can't take criticism. Oh, really? Well, obviously you can't. Otherwise, you would have not dis disabled the like to dislike ratio on your YouTube channel. Now, would you? It sounds to me like you guys are the ones who can't take criticism. You can't handle an opposing opinion. Oh, because I talk trash about your god, about your daddy over there, Jim Cornette. Fuck out of here, dude. You guys are soft as fuck. You, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna take a line from uh, from Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal, who was on AEW last week, you guys are cupcakes. That's what you are. You're cupcakes. You're cupcake virgin losers. Taking a line from the basketball player? Oh my gosh, I didn't know he went this far as the name calling. Cupcake virgin loser monkey boys. That's what you are. Bro, this is the reason why people flag you. It's because of name calling. Not because of harassment, but name calling. You can... Do you even know what do you even know what bullying is, dude? Like name calling is a part of it, dude, and you've been doing this exact same thing as you've been complaining about. That's what you are, dude. So yeah, one video gets flagged down. Congratulations. Congratulations. Jesus Christ, dude. You guys are you guys are some lo you excuse me. You guys are some straight up freaking losers, dude. Honest to God. So there you go, man. There you go. YouTube takes the side of a bunch of virgin losers who can't handle an opposing opinion. To be quite frank, I think that YouTube did the right thing at this point. See, I would have disagreed with them, but you know, they're actually in the right in this one. Because you, on the other hand, you can't even take criticism. Like, I've seen you bash at random things out of nowhere, and then if it's another company, oh, oh, I don't like this company, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend my own company, AEW. Why? I don't know. I wore this random shirt from the company, and I'm going to freaking, like, defend them in any sort of case whatsoever. But, you know, you on the other hand, you bash at the other company, which I think it's funny, because you, you complain about other people bashing other companies. Like, dude, you, you are the new level of low. There you go. There you go. What more can I say than that, man? It's, it's ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous, dude. But anyway, that's all I have to say on that. Like, I had to talk about that, because that, 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 that makes no damn sense. That makes no damn sense. What, like, what the hell, YouTube? Are you freaking, are you fucking up now? Well, they've been fucking up for a while, but... Oh, man, that is so fucking stupid. But it, it's... Beep, beep. Hey, Rasino Taku. Oh, hey, my buddy, my buddy. You stink. You stink, dude. It's whatever. It's whatever. You know, you move on. It's whatever. It's one str It's one fucking warning. One video goes down. It's whatever, dude. So, that's all I have to say on this. So, so thanks for watching. Should have liked the video. Leave a comment and all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. And be looking out for more videos. I got my uh, Impact Wrestling review and my AEW review to do. So, be looking forward to that later. So, all you trolling losers who want to try to censor me and take me off this site, here's to you. <laughs> so there you go. But anyway, so that's pretty much all I have to say. So till next time, rest of the Taku, and I'm out, guys. See you all later. I'm surprised, guys, that the freaking earth wasn't creaking like this house did before. Because, you know, if you watch the previous video on this guy, like, he, every time he moved, I would hear creak, 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 creak. But there is no creaking this time because the earth can handle him, but his house tells him to lose weight. But, you know... 
this is what this is the funniest thing I've seen in my life. Like, is that going to complain about false flagging, but then he's going to bash at random people and call them names? Like, this is the YouTuber we have to deal with, everybody. But yeah, that's what we're going to do for today. I hope you guys like it. Oh, and if you guys want to check out my, more of my content, just make sure you turn on notifications because, you know, apparently some people miss them. But if for some reason the YouTube notifications don't freaking work like everyone else has been complaining about, just check my channel every once then. But you know what? That's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.